were going to the west and covered wagons. You ever see a covered wagon? Going to the west from the east, people would come in from England and, and move in here, you know, English people, uh, trying to find a place to make some money to live, have a farm, and be their own boss, and not be ruled by the king and queen. So uh, they, uh, there were some bad people, the name was, well, the main man was Kimball. You remember the Kimball girls? Uh, you never did see the Kimball girls? Well, they lived up close to uh, Campty, up there. But anyway, they moved down further toward Montgomery later. I saw them on the bus several times when I went down to Louisiana, saw some of them. It was a whole big family of them, Hetty and Letty and Teddy, and Teddy went to school on the bus after they started, got, after they built New Montgomery, and uh, had about the school, well, Teddy, they had a bus that went up there and got the, got the Shackerford kids and the, the uh, uh, all the kids up there and turn that fan around, honey, so she can get some of it. You're a sapper over there, honey. There. And uh, so uh, I saw I saw them at camp meeting, too. We used to go to camp meeting, and I saw they had a, he had a big family. So anyway, this fellow Kimball, I don't know how many sons he had or how many brothers, but there was another man of him. His name was Dean. And they lived, Kimball's lived in this house that we lived in. And the, uh, they had a big window in the kitchen. And this, but the house, it must have been a different house. It must have been over that old well because you know where that well was, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, we never, that never would clean it out. He said, no, he'd never clean it out and use it because it had people's bones in it. And <clears throat> he'd use a little square well over here. So anyway, why, these people would say, put your horses and up, and we'll take care of you overnight and we'll give you food to eat and give you a place to sleep and start out early in the morning. You can't make it tonight. And, get out on the highway and get lost and so coax them to stop and stay all night and the people didn't have any better sense than stay and then they'd seat them all in a row over there and they had a big curtain up over this big window they had a big uh, uh, curtain and they'd seat them all over there with the table and then they'd take a, a big axe or hammer or something and they'd start it, one would stand here and hold a gun on, the other would take an axe and kill them all, let them fall over in that, and push them over in that well. And take their horses and mules and wagon and everything and sell it and take what money they had. And yeah, that actually went on, honey. My daddy was, I, I think it was the, before he was, uh, well, I don't know whether he was born or not, just when it was. It was somewhere in, he was born in 67. And it was somewhere 1867, or somewhere in there, all in there. And that, you remember what our field, when you got to a little branch and a big persimmon tree there, and then go down through the pasture, and you come to a big gate made out of planks, and you'd open and go into the field, and if you go on up over the field and go to the northern place that way, you know, mm -hmm. or go this way, whichever way you want to go. Well, um, they had a boy, a little boy, and his name was, uh, I've forgotten his first name. And so when they killed all of his folks, well, he ran away and he ran down and the, the officers caught him. And that just, he just got through that gate and the officers caught him and took him, took charge of him and then killed the Campbells and Dean and all of them. And uh, so uh, they caught him killing people and everything. And uh, so uh, that, that's the story. I, I can't tell you how long it lasted, but if you did you ever see the book? No. I What's the name of the book? The Campbell Clan. The Campbell Clan. Yeah. I think Olete, Olete had it, and I think he gave it to somebody, right? Uh, I'll, I'll ask the Campbell Clan, K-I-M-B-A-L-L, -L -L, I guess, Campbell. Go to the library and see if we can find that book. It's yeah, a, a pamphlet, it's not a big book, it's a pamphlet about like that, and it's got a uh, paperback to it. I think uh, Olive had one and give it to my arm. There's been one in the family, but I don't know where it is now. But you can probably get one at a bookstore, the Campbell, Campbell Clan. Mm -hmm.
from the state, they don't know what state, they were Campbell Clams in Louisiana. Yeah, and so Dad, uh, but we, that never bothered us about the house, then the house that happened. I, we loved that place for our home. But we stayed away from that well. They made us, Dad and Mom made us stay away from that well. And there was an old uh, tree that stood out about as close to the well as from here to you. It was a catawba tree, and I had to do the ironing when we were going to school. And I went out, Mom, but we didn't have any wood. We had a time getting, Dad, Dad was working out all the time and working the place, and we had a time getting wood, plenty of wood. And I had a big iron to do it. I said, Mom said, you can get some bark off that old stump. Somebody cut the old tree down, catawba tree. And Mom says, a lot of good dry bark out there on that catawba. You can go out there and get that. And I went out there and had on the dress and sleeves up here and got all over it this one started. And my God, something struck me right there. The little scar is still there. It's been there all my life. And it was a stinging lizard stung me, and I dropped the wood and went in, and I was turned so sick and started vomiting, and Mama called Dr. and got Dr. Harrison out there, and he says, well, did you kill, did you find out what it was and kill it? And she says, no, and he says, well, uh, get the wood that, go out there where the wood is that you had, and they find Mama went out there, and a big stinging lizard, it was still in that bark, and she killed it. Was it a stinging lizard, or was it a scorpion? Scorpion. Scorpion. Stinging scorpion, yeah got a crooked tail like yeah. a rest. Well, honey, I can...